What's up, y'all? If you're an anime watcher, then you probably know all about what a tsundere is. Or, I mean, even if you're a casual, I'm sure you've seen the illustrious tsundere on her warpath for blood. But what actually is a tsundere? Or any of the dares, for that matter? Dares? Dares? Well, however you pronounce it, today we're going to go over every single dare type that there is and an anime character equivalent that is a perfect example of what that dairy type is. Our first one on this list is a Bakadere. Now, a Bakadere is, as the name sounds, it is somebody who is very stupid and clumsy and just silly and foolish, but really, really nice and loving towards the person that they love. Uh, Bakadere is a combination of the words Baka, which means idiot, and Dere Dere, which means lovey dovey. You put those two words together and you get Baka Dere. Uh, a perfect character for a Bakadere is Akihisa Yoshi from Baka and Test. Bakken Test is one of the absolute funniest shows on the face of this planet, and everybody should go check it out for sure. The next one that we have on this list is a Biyuki Dere, which is somebody who is very sickly and frail, but also very loving and giving and willing to give up anything for the person that they love, despite them having such a sick and frail body. This is a combination of the words Biyuki, which means sick, and Dere Dere, which means lovey-dovey. Now, there aren't a lot of characters that fit this trope. I mean, there are quite a few characters that fit this trope, but they're usually side characters and they usually don't play a huge part in the story. But one that I can think of in particular is Neko Fujinomiya from the Masamune Kun's Revenge series. Masamune Kun's Revenge is... good. Sort of. Uh, the decisions and the direction of the show make it a piece of garbage, but aside from that, it does feel pretty... okay. Next up we have a Dandere, which is somebody who is really shy and quiet around their crush and they might start to come out of it a little bit the more that they get uh, acquainted with their crush. But the biggest difference between this and a lot of the other dairy types where they are shy and quiet is that this one usually isn't violent. Now this is a pretty hard trope to find in anime. I couldn't actually find one so I actually had to Google uh, a character that fits that trope and I was actually surprised that one of the characters that I really really like with an anime that I really really like was one of the characters. It is Uraha Shirai Ishii from Yamana Kun and the Seven Witches. That is one of my absolute favorite shows. The anime opening is fantastic and the anime itself is really nice. Now this actually is a combination of the words Don Marie, which is uh, shy or quiet, and Derry Derry, which you guys already know by now. <laughs> and now we got a Derry Derry, which is the word that we've been using the most for the con or the compoundation. Uh, and Derry Derry just means lovey-dovey, so it is somebody who is going to be extremely nice, you know, very open, very happy. Like, there's never a moment where they're like, oh, I'm sad and upset. Like, they will always be happy. And the best character that I can think to fit this entire thing, without a shadow of a doubt, is Eri Eru Chitanda from... Hioka. Hioka is a school slice of life romance mystery anime and I tell you what all of those different genres merge very well together into this one anime. It's actually extremely nice. Uh, go check that one out for sure too. Hajidere is next on the list and a Hajidere is somebody who is very nervous and embarrassed around their crush almost to the point of fainting when they're around them and blushing almost instantly the minute that they see them. This is a combination of the words Haji which means embarrassed and Dere Dere which means lovey dovey. Uh, the best character that I can think of for this one is Onodera Kosaki from the Nisekoi series. Nisekoi is actually a really good show. It's a romance harem slice of life and it actually breaks all the norms and tropes of what a harem slice of life romance anime would be. Um, it's not super edgy, it's not just super over the top, the romance feels authentic and the harem isn't inorganic so to speak. So I would say to go check that one out too. Now these three are not super popular, so I'm gonna do all three of them together in kind of like a lightning round. We have a Hime, a Hine slash Kudo, and a Kami Dere. So a Kami Dere is somebody who has a God complex because of the root word Kami, meaning God and Dere Dere, which everybody knows. Hime is somebody who prefers to be treated like a princess because Hime is the root word of princess. And then Hine slash Kudo, both mean that it is somebody who is very cynical in their view towards their lover and they're very cynical of the world around them. The only difference between a hine and a kudere is ku has the root word of cool and so a kudere is usually cooler and more level-headed and they just fit better in society whereas a hine dere means twisted because of the root word hine and they are generally just really cynical towards the world. They don't really fit in anywhere and they don't really have a place. These were three that were very hard to Google for the simple fact that if you Google them, Google just like, nah bro, that's not what you want, and it takes you to a different dere type. The best example that I can come up with for a hine dere is Hachiman Hikigaya from the Snafu series. The best example that I can come up with for a hime dere is my, hold on, Mio Ayama from the World God Only Knows series, and a kami dere is the best example for uh, Lei Lao from the Code Geass series. Now, Akaya Dere is our next one, and that is somebody who changes sides due to love or due to the feelings that they carry for another individual. 
And this is, I actually couldn't find a meaning for the root word Kaya, because it must just be a bigger word that I, I couldn't find. So I don't actually know what Kaya means for the root word, but a character that I found for this is Lucy from Elf and Liade. Or Elf and Lied. I'm not really sure how to pronounce it, but it's a pretty old anime and I actually love it. It was one of the first ones that I started watching. Neandere is next on the list and that is somebody who imitates, acts, or thinks that they are a cat and talks like a cat. Um, Neon is, well, Neon is the way that they would pronounce it and that's just a cute Japanese way of sounding like a cat. You might recognize it in a lot of anime where they go, nya, nya, nya. So it's just like their way of catting up and th there is absolutely no better example of this than Tsubasa Cat from the Monogatari series. There's actually an entire scene where Aradagi tells her to say something and she says everything with nya in front of it. I might put it in right here because it's actually pretty cute. Neko, boku ga ima kara yu bunshou o fukushou shiro. Narame 77 do no narabi de nakunaku inanaku narahan naradai nannaku narabete naga naga me. Next, we have a sedere, which is somebody who likes to toy with the emotions of the person that they love, and they like to play with the person that they love in a, in a hurtful kind of way. Uh, sado, the root word is from sadomasochist, and then they just put it on the end of dere dere. Uh, the best character for this is Senjo Gahara Hitagi from the Monogatari series. I really don't want to pick two from the same series. I was trying to keep it like separated, but I absolutely had to pick her because she fits a Sedodere perfectly, even though she calls herself a Sundere in the first couple of episodes. Now we make it to the most popular and I think often overused and misconceptionized Dere that there is, the Sundere. Now the Sundere is somebody that actually likes the person that they're talking to and they have feelings for them, but they don't know how to express it, so they usually express it through anger or violence or just putting them down or hurting them, and sometimes that can be because that's the only way that they know how to show their love to this person and other times it's just because they didn't love this person at first they don't want to love this person but they do so they just treat them like garbage and crap the root word for sundere is sun sun which basically just means to look away in disgust and then dere dere which you already know what that word means so the best character for this type is taiga isaki from toradora between you and me this is my least favorite dairy type because it, it, it just only a bitch would be mean to somebody that they actually like without any type of change. The character is very static in the fact that it doesn't change. A tsundere is a tsundere from episode 1 to episode 50. They will never not be a tsundere, and that's annoying to have a static character of that type that's always putting down the love interest despite them having feelings for them. And it's just my least favorite because it shows how much of a bitch the main character usually is to so just sit there and take it. I'm not a fan of the tsundere at all. The last one on this list is a yandere, and a yandere is someone who starts off really nice and sweet, but quickly turns obsessive and almost stalker-like, and they can even resort to being murderously violent for the person that they love. Now the root word for this is yandere, which is a combination of words that just basically means mentally ill. So. Yeah, I think everybody knows the most popular character for the yandere trope, and that is Yuno Gasai from Arai Nikki. And between you and me, everybody says that she's a tsundere, everybody says that she has tsundere qualities, but she's actually yandere to the fucking max. And that she's my favorite all-time female character because anybody who loves somebody so much to murder for that person is 100% cool with me. She is my favorite character, and the yandere is my favorite like trope in anime. So those are all the dairy types in order from A to Y. <laughs> Whoops. Um, so yeah, if you want to go check out where I found all of these dairy types and where I got all my information, I will leave a link in the description with the website that I went to. I did leave a few out, but that's only because they had a very, very, very minor difference from two other ones or one other one, and it just didn't feel like they needed to be put on the list. So if you want to go look at all of them, check out the link in the description. If you like this video, please drop a like, comment, subscribe, show me some kind of love somewhere. I put a decent amount of uh, research into this video. It was actually kind of taxing just to do all the research, type up the whole script, and then get the characters in order and sit down and word it out because uh, this was a lot of memorization. <laughs> but I uh, enjoy making this content. I hope you guys enjoyed it. That's it for me. I will see y'all in the next one. Peace. Yeah. Okay, I get it. You claiming that you with it, but nah, you ain't with it, dog. Yeah. Yes, I'm committed. You want me to stop, but I never quit it, dog. Hey. And I don't need nobody. Hey, but I want somebody. They all hate, cause I'm all in. And that's why I'm about whatever, man. Spending money like it's gonna last forever, man. We live in life, cause we finna live forever, man. Live forever, man. Gonna live forever, man. Yeah, that's why I'm about whatever, man. Spending money like it's gonna last forever.
last forever, man. We living life cause we finna live forever, man. Live forever.